My name is Kevin Luters, I'm with Bell Medical, and I'm excited to introduce the StimPod 450X Plus. The Plus is a new uh, StimPod that has a color display, a touchscreen display, a uh, waveforms, memory, and it also has a rechargeable battery. So it's a significantly improved StimPod that's extremely easy to use. It does have the capability of doing electromyography or accelomyography, and we still continue to be the only device that at the simple change of a cable, you're able to do EMG with a proprietary EMG sensor sensor or accelomyography with standard electrode leads. So that's a huge uh, economic and clinical advantage of the StimPod. The StimPod, when you power it up, it comes up with the message start case. And if I press start case, it's going to automatically identify if the patient has paralytic on board or not. If the patient has paralytic on board, it'll default to 60 milliamps and train a four. So we're going to start the uh, simulation. It's looking for the uh, super maximal current or basically the ideal current to uh, uh, measure this patient at and it found it at 35 milliamps and uh, it's showing that the patient has a hundred percent so they're about to be induced is what this simulation is showing and it'll do a train of four every 15 seconds so you'll actually see the patient as they go down into uh, uh, a paralyzed state so right now they're currently recovered but now they're at 90 percent so you see the four bar graphs. Uh, there's also a bunch of other things. I can adjust the current if I wanted by just simply sliding that bar and pressing confirm. Or I can spin the wheel and adjust the current that way. But if I don't press confirm, it's going to go back to the milliamps that it had uh, selected for that particular patient. Okay. So now I'm down to 83% and I'm minimal. Uh, I can do a, uh, uh, a press of this button that will actually identify that I've given a, a paralytic or I've given a reversal. It'll show up later in uh, the uh, waveform. In fact, if I slide across, there you're seeing the T4, there you're seeing the T3, the T2. So we actually show the waveforms. There's all four together. And then this is the beginning of the trend waveform. And that little zero, zero up on top is showing you where I did the drug uh, uh, enhancement. Uh, so once again, that's kind of showing you now we're down to 55%. If I press the EMG button, uh, it'll show that all my cables are connected appropriately. That's obviously in a simulation, but if one of those was off, it would show you which one was off in red. I can close this. Now I'm down to 25%, so I'm in a shallow uh, block. Uh, I also have the capability of doing uh, sensing uh, with uh, the EMG sensor or I can use the AMG sensor and sense uh, on the facial nerves or the ulnar nerve or the tibia nerve which we'll talk about in a moment. I also have a battery indicator and that'll show me how much battery life. In this case I have 29 hours remaining. We have a 40 hour battery uh, and I can adjust my lighting that way. This little green indicator indicates that I am uh, recording this information and storing it and it will be ready to go to a computer or to an EMR. Now we're starting to get paralyzed. The patient's at 204 and they're moderately recovered or moderately uh, 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 paralyzed. And pretty soon we're going to get to 04. Once we get to 04, then it'll switch to post tectonic count automatically. Now, if I wanted to get out of this auto mode, all I would do is press auto and I would choose train of four. I'm going to leave it in auto mode a little bit longer, uh, but uh, I just wanted you to know that it's very easy just to go to manual mode to do train of four as you want. Now we're at 104 and soon we'll be at 04 and you'll see simulated post tectonic count. So the touchscreen display is very nice uh, and it works really easy uh, to, to, to work with. Uh, I'm going to let it do one more train of four. Now we're at 04 and we're in deep sedation. What will happen next, it will do an automatic uh, post tectonic count. But to uh, speed up, I'm going to switch that and go to train of four. And now we're back on, in a manual mode and I would just do trains of four like this, which it shows in, and now I'm, uh, it shows an example of 100%. Once again, if I swipe to the side, I can show a trend and once again I can put a, a little marker there, a drug marker. I can see the waveforms T1, T2 are all four over top of each other and then back to the four bar graphs. Now we're on a manual mode where it won't do a train of four until I tell it to do a train of four. However, I can hit this little clock up here and I can say turn the repeat timer on and I can choose, hey, I want to do every 30 seconds and confirm. So now it's going to take a train of four every 30 seconds. So once again, the touch screen really makes the StimPod an easy device to use.
Okay, so that's EMG under simulation and what we do is we use a sensor uh, that is very well designed for both a left-handed or a right-handed patient. We have these accordion areas here and the electrodes here and then we have an extra long uh, connecting point and this connects to our EMG electrode. So that is the EMG electrode. If I put this on pause uh, or actually I disconnect it, I'm going to now show you how it would work with our uh, AMG sensor or our accelerometer. And once again, we're the only device available that can do both EMG and AMG in the same device. I'm going to now connect this electrode or this uh, accelerometer. This is a fifth generation accelerometer. It's three dimensional. It self calibrates every time you do a train of four. I can put it on this way. I can put it on the side. I can put it on the thumbprint. I, I can put it on my big toe. I can take this strap off and put it on the facial nerves and do the eyelid or the eyebrow. So it really is a very flexible system. In this case, I'm going to put it on the side so you can kind of see the indicator. You'll see the light turn green here four times and the light up here four times. I'm going to do a train of four. There, I'm at 108%, so obviously I don't have any paralytic on board. Uh, I am in the train of four mode. Uh, if I wanted to do a post tectonic count, I would choose uh, PTC. Uh, that's pretty painful, so I'm not going to do that, but uh, just wanted you to know that you can very easily manually go to PTC. Uh, I'm going to continue at train of four. So let's do another train of four. That time I'm a little, I was holding it a little bit different, so I'm 139%. But the point is, is we don't truncate the numbers. We give you the fourth twitch compared to the first twitch, and that is allows you, anytime you're over 90%, to feel confident that you can extubate the patient. This will show now the electrodes uh, place on the ulnar nerve, and in case one of those was bad, it would kind of tell you that one of them is bad, uh, and we'll confirm that. Uh, once again, I can use the drug uh, key. Uh, we are the green dot there means I'm recording, uh, and basically uh, that's how easy it is to use. Uh, I can hit the timer again, and I can say I want to turn the timer on, and I want to go to every 30 seconds and confirm. So now it's going to do a train of four every 30 seconds, uh, and that time it was 111 percent. So. That's the uh, overall review of the StimPod 450X Plus. It's a color touchscreen display. Uh, it is a larger display. It's color. Uh, it does use a, uh, I gotta tell you it's gonna zap me in a second, so I gotta get this one open. It does use a rechargeable battery rather than a uh, four AA batteries. And it has a 40 hour battery, so uh, it's, well, there we're getting zapped. Uh, and there we're at 96% and we're recovered. So once again, I don't have any paralytic on board uh, and, that's, uh, and a patient that is over 90% would be safe to extubate. Uh, the StimPod 450X Plus is available with a universal IV pole mount that allows you to adjust it in, in all kinds of different ways. Uh, the uh, sensors for EMG, uh, the EMG cable is available in an 11 and a half foot uh, length. That's excellent for robotics and for uh, any closed hand uh, systems. There's another zap. I'm 102%. So once again, it's a fifth generation accelerometer. It's extremely accurate. Please call Bell Medical to allow us to give you a free trial or an evaluation uh, or at least a Zoom type call to review the benefits of the StimPod. Thank you.